Thank you so much, comrades. Thank you so much. You guys are wonderful. Uh, I, when it comes to work as work party, I always follow the order. I have only seven minutes to finish up. But let me tell you what I'm going to say. If I was run over my time, I'm going to stop. I'm going to let you know they made a lot of noises and the nuclear deal of five plus one with Iran. I just wanted to tell you it's just a short respite. Nothing had happened. It's just a tactical change. And then I'm going to explain revolution achieved so much that U.S. hate Iran and the revolution and it's going to destroy it. That's the basic goal for Obama or others, all of them. Their goal is destroyed. On Friday, and I'm going to let you know what was the unfolding situation after the deal. On Friday, November 2nd, masses of students and other people forced into the street of Tehran to commemorate the historic day of when revolutionary students took over the U.S. Embassy and named that embassy Den of Espionage. <laughs> this was the most meaningful message of solidarity to the National Conference of the Workers' War. The masses are clear, the message is clear. Iran nuclear deal is not a honeymoon between Iran and US. We know who are our enemies. So comrades, who were nearly the only tendency in the left who were able to analyze the Islamic Revolution as a truly anti-imperialist revolution and defended us for 36 years in the belly of the beast can be sure that we never, we have no illusion about imperialism. Comrades, Iran revolution not only changed the Middle East political and economic and social development, it has liberated productive forces inside Iran. Facts speak for themselves. Sixty percent of Iranians, sixty percent of the students, sixty percent of civil servants, eighty percent of teachers in Iran are women. Why 90% of the rural women, women of rural community, and 45% in cities were illiterate before revolution? Iran achieved full literacy for young people six years ago, for all young people. Iran comprehensive social front protection includes highest level of pension, disability insurance, basic food subsidies for all the country, housing, energy, housing and energy is affordable to all. Iran has a strong healthcare system from prevent preventive care to sophisticated hospital. 60,000 of house, quote unquote, healthcare houses are the cornerstone of the healthcare system. Iran sets record in family planning all kinds of contraception are available. The fertility rate in only 13 years after the revolution dropped from 8.1 births per woman to 2.4 births in the rural areas and 1.8 births in urban cities. Iran, with over 230,000 engineers, is ranked third among 124 countries after Russian Federation and United States. Iran had 19.3% average annual growth rate for publication in all science and engineering fields during 1997 to 2011. 
Iran with approximately 21 fold increase in the number of publication in all fields and science, of science and engineering increased its 390 published article to 8,175 in 2011. I can go on and on, but let me go to the final point. Iran has one of the less depth in Middle East, not comparable to any Middle East puppet in the area, Turkey and uh, others. All of these were achieved in the wake of 36 years of sanction, assassination of scientists, sabotage and hostilities by U.S. imperialists and its, its European allies, Zionist regime of Israel, and most reactionary fight, puppet regime in the region, Saudi Arabia, a NATO, NATO member, Turkey, and the other gas station of the imperialists, such as Emirat, Qatar, Kuwait, Bahrain, and etc. Comrades, U.S. imperialism hates our revolution. The ultimate goal of U.S. is to destroy Iran revolution and reestablish a puppet government. Someone may ask, why two years of negotiation and what does that the Iran nuclear mean, deal mean? I do not have time to elaborate on this question extensively, but I just I put it in one sentence. Majority of the ruling class in the United States accepted the fact they cannot attack Iran. So they changed their tactic and extensively imposed more sanctions on Iran and then they sat down on the table and talked to Iran for economic penetration to Iran. Iran also on this side, on, his, on their side, decided to use nuclear deal to break the regime of sanction. So a new chapter of, of struggle is a start in why military operation is not removed. Comrades, Iran does not need U.S. imperialism and European allies. Iran needs extensive relations with the Latin America, Africa, and Asian countries, including Russia and China. I'm going to finish in a minute. Iran leader is very aware of this, and this was what he had to say. The national day of fight, fighting global arrogance three, in three days ago, he said that, in that special day. Fighting global arro arrogance, unlike what certain individuals say, is rooted in wisdom and experience. And then he continued, Dr. Mossadegh, who put his trust in American, when the Americans were getting ready to for the coup d'etat of 1953. U.S. Embassy was truly then of espionage. The U.S. objectives regarding the Slavic Republic of Iran had not changed at all, and Americans would not spare a moment if they could destroy the Islamic Republic. Death to America is not aimed at American people, but American policies. The nature of U.S. policies has not changed, and nation will not, our nation will not forget that. The future of Syria is clear. Only in the last two weeks, 25 high rank marshals, some of them 65 years old, they gave their life for Syrian people in front against fighting U.S. imperialism. You, Iran never gave up defending Bashar Assad. How many said just recently Bashar Assad is a red line. We're not going to let that happen. A foreign country decides who's going to be the leader. The Syrian people are going to decide that. We never give up. Come on. Yeah, let me tell you the last. Come on. I have to tell you, people of Syria will win. Victory to the Palestinian people. Long live workers' vote party. Let's march to our socialism. We will win together.